Welcome to another video and this is going to be my reference for this illustration and today is a little different because I'm trying out a new app. It's called iArtbook and uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see if I can get some really good results in a new app. But remember, I'm trying to diversify my art tools just in case the app that I'm currently using gets discontinued or crashes. You know, I'm really serious about um, having the ability to use different apps to create my art because I do really mean it when I say you never know what may happen in the future. So you can't depend too much on one art app and uh, your skills should definitely um, be useful and give you good results no matter what app, no matter your tools, right? And this is really good practice for when it comes to drawing um, my illustrations and also my technique. I'm practicing my art techniques and uh, I'm using new brushes, with new dynamics. And now I have to um, readjust and alter the brushes and the settings to, um, to match my comfortability. Um, so yeah, so I'm starting off with a sketch as per usual. This is a very rough sketch. I'm going to change a few things about her, like her outfit, like I usually do. And she's going to be wearing this very pretty blue dress. So the sketching process was smooth enough because it is a rough sketch. Um, it wasn't too tedious. And uh, yeah, I used the basic uh, pen brush and I adjusted it a little bit, tweaked it in the settings, and then it worked very well. Uh, fun fact, I did try iArtbook um, a few days ago before I finally did this illustration, and I was very frustrated by it. I'm glad that I came back to it and tried again because sometimes um, it's the wrong day or you're in the wrong mood or you're just trying to, you're in a hurry. So you don't do very well, but uh, the second time around, I definitely did much better and I was able to complete a full illustration, which I'm really proud of. Um, so now I'm starting my coloring process and I'm using the same brush. That is also something I wanna say. I'm not using a bunch of different brushes to draw all these things. I just make sure to apply my techniques. Maybe that's why the strokes might look a bit different. But yeah, I decided to only use that basic pen brush that I um, altered and uh, redefined a little more, refined a little more, and then the airbrush. So those are the two only brushes that I used and I think it was, you know, it served their purpose. They served their purpose and they were very useful and Honestly, that's all I needed. So, um, yes, now I'm moving on to the features and using that same pen brush was actually, it was a breeze. It reminded me a lot about the brush that I use in Ibis Paint X, which is very good because sometimes there's a different feel to different brushes, the way they apply on the canvas, their texture, uh, their opacity, the flow of the brush, the dynamic. Uh, when I'm um, altering the brushes um, and refining the brushes in the settings, there are so many settings, guys, that it can be so confusing and uh, very overwhelming, but definitely worth it to go and learn how the brush works. It really shows you um, the system and uh, all the little details that you don't consider you just use a brush but you don't really know how it works so that definitely will give you a bit more insight and i suggest everybody does that especially if they're using a new app don't just use the brushes uh, and then just settle with the results um, definitely go and adjust the brush in its settings so everything is going well right now and uh, now i'm going to move on to the dress so this is the dress that I plan on using, it's a very pretty summer dress and uh, yeah I decided you know what I wanted to change the outfit a little bit because the one in the reference picture wasn't very interesting to me so this is what I'm going to go with. 
Oh, and another thing is that usually in Ibis Paint X, I open my reference picture directly in my canvas um, and it shows that it's right um, besides my illustration so that I can um, refer back to it in a more convenient way, you know, a more practical way. But in other apps, it seems as though it opens a separate window where you can have your reference and it's not directly on the canvas. It's not part of the canvas. So I've had to adapt to that. It's a little different. It has a very different feel to it. It's almost like another file that you have to manage and move around your interface, your screen. But I think it actually works very well, especially when you can zoom into the reference because it doesn't um, disturb your actual file. So that is why you don't see it um, in this video. So now I'm adding some wrinkles to the dress to really give it that realistic effect. And these act as the shadows and it's also adding texture and uh, some dimension to the clothing. Then I'm going to go in with some highlights and I'm going to add that on top and that is really going to make the dress stand out, adding highlights it contrasts with the shadows and it actually emphasizes those shadows. So my shadows are those wrinkles that you see in the dress and it definitely adds even more dimension. So this dress had a lot of details and uh, I had to really use my reference to capture as many details as I could. You can see all the different parts of the dress, the pattern, the texture, the little marks, the, um, the placement of certain things, the patterns. And this is very important to capture to make the dress look as realistic as possible. So I did want to talk about the pros and cons of using this app. And I also wanted to add that they do have an animation feature, so that is definitely one of the big pros. I haven't used it yet, but I do plan to, and I'm really excited about that. I don't know why, but I still haven't taken the leap. I still haven't taken the first step. I really do want to incorporate animation into my art, but uh, I don't know. I feel like I'm not ready yet. I think it's a whole new world, and I'm not ready yet basically so some other pros would be the variety of brushes there are a lot of brushes and a lot of different types of brushes and i know most digital art apps have a wide variety of brushes but the type and quality of brushes also matters and i think iArtBook uh, is definitely similar to procreate when it comes to the brushes they even have a weather section with a rain brush guys and that is what you call variety and uh, that in itself just shows that they definitely did take this seriously when it comes to offering um, the app users and the artists um, some very useful brushes that will definitely come in handy in the future in their illustrations and that is a very good thing. And another pro would also be the interface. Um, it's a very clean interface, very simple to use. Once you get used to the placement of the different features, it is very easy to use. Everything is very well organized. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of, there's enough space to move things around and it's not um, all on top of each other. Yeah, I think the interface is actually pretty user-friendly and uh, artists will definitely feel comfortable in this app in no time. Another big pro, obviously, um, it's free. There is like a premium um, package, but it's not that expensive. Actually, it's very affordable. So if you do, as an artist, if you want to try that app out, you can try it out. In fact, I I was able to create as many layers as I wanted for this illustration and I didn't have to sign up for the pre premium. I didn't have to buy the premium, right? And that is already a plus because in some apps, when there's a free trial, there are a lot of limits. But I would say iArtBook 
does not give a lot of limits when it comes to trying out the app and after you've tried out the app i'm sure you will actually really like it and you can purchase the premium package and there are you know other features that are unlocked but otherwise all the basic features that you need are definitely available to you so i just wanted to say how that is actually a very big pro and um, the fact that it is free so this is the interface and like i said it's very sleek it's very simple and it's very easy to use and get around. You can see all the features and their placements and look at it. I mean, it's very simple and I definitely think this I would recommend to beginner artists and advanced artists. So yeah. Another pro is all the abilities that they provide. So you can import different things and you can export different things. It seems as though you can also create your own brushes and export them, which is really great. And yet again, just shows that it is very similar to Procreate, but I would think it's just a slightly different. It's not exactly like Procreate, but it's very reminiscent of Procreate. But when it comes to the cons, I will say the first time that I did try to use iArtbook, it was a bit of a learning curve, so that was on my part. So I wouldn't say that is a con because just like I showed you, the interface is very simple and easy to use. So I, for now at least, I don't have any cons that come to mind. I think I'm going to have to use the app a little more before uh, coming to a conclusion and I might do a video on that too um, just in case I run into problems but otherwise yeah for now I really don't have any cons in mind okay maybe I do have one little thing and it was with the hair I found a way around it but the hair the brush that I use it was a little difficult to draw the hair because of the ends of the brush so the ends of the brush is how the brush stroke ends if it's pointed or slanted or thick or round and that plays a huge role especially in the hair because the hair is supposed to be very neat and very uh, fluid and this is what you can see me doing right now adjusting the hair so I alpha lock the layer for the highlights and then I try to fade it a little bit so it can give a more smooth effect, right? So then the ends don't look so rough. But otherwise, the airbrush actually worked very, very well on the skin. As you can see, I love her skin. It came together so well. I just love dark skin, guys. And I love illustrating it. And it's just so beautiful to draw. I mean, look at it, it's so buttery and smooth and soft and rich. And look at all those undertones that you can see. Ugh, I just love it. So definitely check out iArtbook. <laughs> and uh, this is my final result. I mean, look at her, she looks so pretty. Doesn't she look pretty? She looks so pretty. I'm really happy with the result and uh, very surprised. I don't know why, but I'm always surprised that I can get these very beautiful results in a new app you know that I still have to get used to but uh, anyways so I'm on Etsy and you can use my work for personal and commercial use if you download it on Etsy so go check that out I'm also on Patreon and this is this week's tutorial and I have other tutorials available on my Patreon and uh, yeah thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you actually like this illustration. I really like her. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.